what up y'all, Dirty Cam back, hope you're all enjoying the playthrough so far, when the last episode ended, we're on our way to find some brew to help this crazy dude that's whacked out of his coconut get back on his feet or something, so uh, yeah, check it out. Where did you get it? That smell... Wait... Where am I? I... I remember now. Too much root pulp. Less kick, more crazy. Grubby was right. I'm out of my gourd. Things are starting to make sense again. I'm not spending another minute in this camp. Thank you, friend. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Where's Mark? Did he listen to you? You gave him... Damn! He ran off to drink it all himself, didn't he? I have to get back to town. Take this and thank you, friend. That fool better have saved some for me. I have a thirsty blade.
How can I help you? You want to know a secret? I'm a terrible woodworker. Can't plant a board to save my life. But you know what they say? Those who can do, those who can't sell. A fortunate tide brings you to my stall, traveler. Port Hunding's a place for honest merchants, you know. And honest merchants trust me to keep their goods under lock and key. You know, so they don't get stolen. Sturdy eye-catching clothes are a must for any true privateer. You could buy some from the scoundrel here. Need a weapon? These red guards love swords, but I sell all varieties. Greetings. Port Hunding's a place for honest merchants, you know. And honest merchants trust me to keep their goods under lock and key. the Goblin King? By kind, you did it. I've been expecting them to attack the town any minute. Bosek tossed me out when I tried to warn him. Said he'd have my head if I didn't shut up. He'll never know you saved his town for him. If it's not Goblins, it'll be something else tomorrow. I swear this town is cursed. If you're looking for that bastard Jakan, he's at the tavern with a Red Guard girl. I overheard him telling a Red Guard girl he'd whisk her off to Sentinel, that he was a ship captain. She swooned like a fool, like I did. I'd tell the headman where he's hiding if I didn't hate the headman more. I need off this island. I'm 
Where's my friend? That's dead. Rolling out of room in your pack? Never fear. The solution to your problems is here. I commit to providing the finest of bags to store your goods in. Bags in which the finest wares. <laughs> Hey there, glad to see you made it out. Hey now, the headman stole it first. And you brought it back to me, didn't you? Thanks, good looking. Seeing as it's you asking, sure. If she's planning a job, I'm in. All I ask is a trip off this rock after it's over. You! Hey, you! Hey there, need any help? Ha! <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever find you. You move around. I'm Nicolene. I work for Captain Colleen. She sent me to find you, see if you'd had any luck recruiting for our heist. Looks like you're already making new friends. Then listen, just so you know, we're set up in a hideout near the docks. Come find us when you finish recruiting. Look for Lambour outside the door. There's three folks Captain Colleen wants to help with her heist. Crafty Larissa, Jakarn, and Naramo. She told me about them. Who do you want to know about? She's in Sainsport. The Sea Drakes lured her ship onto the rocks. Those bastards really know how to ruin your day. It's south of Port Hunding. Look for the big lighthouse. He's a brilliant Dwemer sage. Not that he's Dwemer himself, but he studies them. He's out of Bith's Ark, digging in the ruins there. You don't know nothing. Do too, you In drunk. In the morning, I'll be sober. Ha! But you'll you still won't be, be sober stupid. in the morning. I miss those goblins. The food was free, and clothing was optional. That old fool won't find me here. Time for a nap. Whatever it is, I didn't do it. Who knows? Naramo, I guess, but not me. I'm only here on Bosek's orders to make sure the elf does his job. I never agreed to dig around in the sand for mad dwarf toys. Be my guest. Go talk to Naramo. I'm sure he'll be delighted to offload more of his task onto someone else. Mother said this would happen. I can't do anything right. 
Mother sent me here to kill some big monster, but I don't think I can do it. Well, I hate violence, and I'm kind of forgetful. All I really want to do is make weapons, not hit things with them. But I promised Mother I'd try. Will you help me? I seem to have misplaced my sword. I had an awful battle with some monsters over this way. Go on without me. I, uh, have to do something over here. Just seeing my father's old sword fills me with courage. I can do this, I think. I was, uh, preparing the bait. The beast won't come out of the water without this. At least, that's what Mother said. Now we lure out the monster and kill it. Easy, right? I sure hope this proves my courage to Mother. Well, here we go. Please stay close. Careful now. Those mud crabs are tough. Did you see how big that thing was? And those teeth? You found my sword. Thank you. I want to be a warrior and make Mother proud, but I also love smithing. What do you think? Should I become a warrior or a smith? You said it. I'm not fighting anymore. I'll make weapons for others. Mother will just have to get used to it. Thanks for everything. Well, I'm done here. Come see me in Port Hunding. Miraculous. To think that the Dwemer of Old Volenfell settled as far as Stros Mackay. My brother and I have scoured the ruins exterior for some time now, but we have never been able to get inside. Several reasons. One is that Hedman Bosek commissioned me to explore the ruins. A fascinating aspect of Dwemer ruins are the ancient mechanisms to be found inside. Bosek thinks to use them in Port Hunding. I need to get inside to investigate. An excellent suggestion. I believe this automaton can unseal the door, if it can be reassembled and controlled. I have its control rod, but two focusing crystals seem to be missing. Find them, and I'll do the rest. 